Welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video and in this video I'm going to be having a look at Lego set 6034. This came out in 1990 and according to Brickset it is known as the Black Monarch's Tower. Um, so yeah they don't actually print the names on the box or they didn't back then. Um, but it also said it's known as the Haunted Tower because back in, you know, when this set was released, 1990, they often had multiple names uh, for one set depending on the region uh, that it was released. So I'm not sure exactly why LEGO bothered to do that, but they did. But in any case, it's set 6034. Uh, it has, I think, 46 pieces. Um, so yeah, anyway, around 50, I'll put the details in the description, pretty basic set, um, so let's start with the, the horse, I actually really love this set, you know, even though it's small, um, I loved this set as a kid, I still think it's a pretty cool set, so standard horse set, I don't know, the Lego horses, whether they've changed them much over the years, um, but you do get like a saddle, in there that the minifig can can go in and they also give you um, a piece that you can actually put in there if you want to take the saddle off and just show it as a uh, as a normal horse without this part missing so that's pretty cool that they give you that option as well and you can see spare sword and a flag then the knight himself this was really cool back then where he actually has a full kind of armor gear with the vest and then the helmet I always just loved the helmet with the plastic feather as well and that can swivel up and down so there's the face pretty pretty friendly looking knight isn't he it is worth noting actually that the Lego Pirate series that came out in 1989 was the first time that they had non-standard Lego faces. By non-standard, I mean this is standard, just two eyes and a mouth. So having alternate faces was still very much a new thing back when this was released. There is printing underneath. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that off with one hand because I'm holding the camera up, but... There we go, we did get it. Um, so yeah, you do get a shield, obviously, as you can see, and another sword. We'll have a look at the printing. So yeah, nice print. It is actually like a bit metallic. And no other printing, of course, back at this, back in 1990, no arm or leg or double-sided face. So let's have a look now at I guess the main part of the build and another really cool feature of this set is the ghost actually comes with a glow-in-the-dark uh, a glow-in-the-dark um, yeah cape thing <laughs> so yeah this does actually glow in the dark is what I'm trying to say which is pretty cool because I don't remember many sets back then that had this and I don't remember many sets that have done it since. I'm sure Lego probably have used glow-in-the-dark pieces since then. Maybe for other things, but yeah, it's a pretty cool feature. I just cannot get this off. Oh, probably because of the arms, that's why. I take the arms off. There we go. So, yeah, this is the build for the minifig and then you've got the glow in the dark piece there so pretty cool pretty scary I mean luckily they had it with a smile so it at least looks like a bit of a friendly ghost <laughs> yeah and then uh, yeah nice wooden door so he just leaves in there and uh, this build it's pretty much just two pieces uh, the left and the right piece and then a couple of pieces on top to so hold it all together um, and the doors obviously but there really aren't many pieces sorry I should have dusted that before <laughs> doing the video 
Uh, you do get a bird. I'm not sure why they did a silver, like a grey bird. Uh, I guess it sort of goes with the whole sort of tower type theme rather than having a bright red bird, but yeah, and then a bit of a flag. Have a quick look at the box. Um, nothing probably particularly special. They always show alternate builds so that it tells you there you should keep at least 60 centimeters away. That's probably for the light. Uh, now I'll try, I don't know how well this is going to work guys, but I will try and show the glow in the dark feature. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's too light. It works pretty well, I mean, you can, yeah, it's just too hard to show like this, but it does actually work pretty well. As long as it gets enough light, um, you definitely will see it very clearly in the, in the dark. So I'm just sure, I'm sorry that I can't. I'm not going to get it any darker than inside that box. Yeah, you can't. It's too light. So um, but yeah, very cool set. And um, you know, if you're into the sort of the night type things, uh, this is a this is a good one, good little cheap one to get. Um, but I'd love to know what you guys thought of uh, of this set. Maybe you owned it. Maybe you remember it from your childhood. Uh, but thanks you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.